Quickney and uh, Southernwood were certainly once known as the affluent areas surrounding the central business district in East London under the Buffalo City Metro. Now these two areas are notoriously known as some of the most dangerous neighborhoods in the city with dilapidated infrastructure and criminal activities. Newsroom Africa, Sifa Kema, is on this leg of the story. She's live to us now from Quigney. And Sipa, we speak about danger within that community. It was Nostrelum Tebeni's body that was also found there. And I guess that's just one of many examples of how things have gone terribly wrong where you're at. Well, certainly, Ayanda, as you mentioned, criminal activities, danger is what right now Quigney and Southernwood are known for, most especially where I am uh, in Quigney. If you see where I am right now, this building is a former business. Now, Quigney used to have thriving, old, long-standing buildings um, and, and businesses here in this area. But now, because of the crime, they are all, most of them are gone. You only have two businesses that have been around in East London for decades. Now, talking about danger, and I mean, just before we spoke to you, there's some police services uh, that actually stopped to ask us, do we know what area we're in right now, as anything can happen? So they're actually sticking around to make sure that uh, we do this live crossing safe. And that is how dangerous this neighborhood has become. I'm, so, I'm sure you see uh, the building right now where I'm standing and how it looks like and how it has deteriorated, literally uh, collapsing uh, right now. And also, just across the street, Ayanda, there is what used to be uh, a form of warehouse, which is quite similar to what you were seeing where I was inside. Exactly that. And up the road, Ayanda, there's, a, you know, those residential buildings. Those residential buildings now are housing criminals, um, you know, prostitution rings that are happening here in Quigney. And also now this, what, hap what is happening in Quigney is a big problem for businesses in the surrounding areas, most specifically uh, the CBD of East London. The CBD, which has a lot of commercial businesses around now, uh, is also being affected uh, by uh, the criminal activities happening in Quigney, happening uh, in Southernwood, Ayanda. And also now... A question is to the municipality that with these dilapidating buildings and infrastructure that have already collapsed, uh, the municipality, according to the bylaws, should be taking over these buildings and also buildings that are unmaintained and enforcing those uh, bylaws to the owners and ensuring that they are upkept and maintained to keep away from such things happening, more especially the criminal activities, because, Ayanda, when you have buildings such as the one behind me, those lead to criminal activities where we saw even some needles inside there, uh, which alludes to uh, the fact that this is a drug den as well, Ayanda. Sure. Really concerning, especially in a context where police have even stopped by to try and ensure your safety as you do your work. Typically, at around this stage, you'd be seeing all kind of electioneering in the form of posters in certain communities. I'm yet to see a single one where you're at. I wonder what that means for the kind of presence that political parties there have in a context where it's so dangerous, as you've already pointed out. Mm -hmm. Well, Ayanta, when you're talking about campaigning, we've seen a majority of the campaigns have actually been taken into your townships, your Mdanzani, uh, your Zwelicha in, in, in the BCM, in the rural areas uh, across the Eastern Cape. But focusing on the CBD, we have not yet seen any uh, campaigning in these forms of part. Now, I just want to turn around here, Ayant, just to show you. As you mentioned that there are posters, yes, of course, there's uh, political party placards and posters on the land, um, the side lamps uh, across the streets here in Quigney. However, as far as the actual campaign trail and activity taking place, that is still yet to be seen here. I mean, most of these buildings, especially the residential buildings, you cannot, they are, they are inhabitable. Um, as I said, they house your prostitution rings, 
drug dealers filled with criminal activities. They've become a drug dense. And as you mentioned, that Nosik Elo's body was also found in the street, not far from where we are, about two uh, street um, robots away from us. That is where Nosik Elo's body was actually found here in Quigney. And a lot of people had actually commented on where the boyfriend was found, you know, the kind of place he was living in and the conditions that he was living in and how filthy it was. That is the prime example of majority of the buildings here. Now, some of the buildings, such as the one here to my right, you may see uh, that actually it's in good condition. That is because the owners that are currently owning it are maintaining it. You can see there are actually cameras uh, that have been installed on the side of the buildings to ensure the safety uh, of the residents. But if you go along the street, you will find that majority of these buildings have deteriorated, have collapsed, are actually not conducive for, uh, you know, for, for anyone to live in. And also looking at some of the long-standing buildings that I was talking about, uh, such as your Wilson's Butchery, your Friesland, those are the well-maintained uh, buildings in this block because those buildings actually have been around for decades in this area. Sipa Kema, thanks very much indeed for that scene, Seta. It's very interesting to see how voting will take place in that community, given, of course, the context you've just pointed out. Sipa Kema, live to us there from the Tabletown of Quigney in the Eastern Cape.